Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the best damn EDC, and today it's time for another EDC Weekly, and this time back by popular demand is the bougie EDC Weekly. So in essence, these are very expensive everyday carries. This is just a big hard flex episode. It's just for fun. Don't get too offended. Don't get too mad. Some people carry expensive and very nice things. Some people use their shit. Some people have safe queens. Everybody has a different thing. This is just a chance for people to hard flex and not feel bad about it. And uh, I've, I've broken all of these down with approximate values of all the stuff. The best I can do in a lot of cases is MSRP. Secondary values are all over the place and very hard to track. And some of these items, I really had no idea. So I'm ballparking on some of these, but the way we're gonna go through them is from the least expensive to the most expensive. And to be fair, I didn't go for the most expensive carries possible. I mean, there were some with $20,000 plus watches. That's not what I did here. I just went for some interesting, unique stuff that you don't see all the time on the channel. So that's where these came from, but they just happened to be pretty expensive carries. But before we get started, I have a couple of announcements. I was gonna announce two things today. One, uh, Olight was doing a charity sale for these pink I1R2 EOSs for breast cancer awareness. They were donating all the proceeds from selling all of these to a charity uh, and they sold out. So they're gone. I was gonna announce these, which are my Topo Mighty Hanks, the Carry Commission exclusive. Uh, these also sold out. I dropped this before I even shot this video. They sold out in about 45 minutes, so they're gone. I'll do another batch of them at some point. And since those are gone, I can just mention this. Last week, I dropped the TPT slides back on Carry Commission now. Just go to carry.best, they're there. You can click buy them right now. They are available indefinitely. So if you want one, you don't have to wait for a drop and maybe get one, maybe not. They're available, just go to carry.best. Okay, that's it for now. Let's do the damn thing. I almost forgot what's in the glass today. I have some Laphroaig tin, pretty heavy pour of it. This is a pretty good scotch. Uh, I've been drinking it for years. I like it, I don't love it. I think Lagavulin, Ardbeg, and there's some other scotches I like more. But one thing that we can all agree on, scotch is better than bourbon. Just throwing that out there, fight me, change my mind. <laughs> Also, might as well do the pocket dump while I'm sitting here. This is the bougie carry. So I've got a little bit of a bougie carry going on today, but I'm not competing with these guys. In the pocket, we have the Shurgorov Neon Zero, which I got yesterday. And on the wrist is the Damasco DC-58. Well, that's what I'm wearing and carrying and drinking right now. Okay, let's get started. The very first submission this week comes from Adam Duvall. You can find him over on Instagram at Adam Duvall underscore. And this is pretty standard fare for Adam. He posts a lot of pictures with similar gear, similar lighting, similar, it's always just kind of moody and the gear's always great. But first up in the bottom left of the photo is the Okluma DC-1. That is a flashlight in the bottom left. Next to that is the Oz Machine Company Roosevelt number 57 beautiful knife. Next to that is a Great Eastern Cutlery number 47 Viper in OD Micarta. And he also has a Worry Domino from Lucas Does EDC in the Discord. He now has the maker tag. We also have a Lynch Northwest All Access Pass 1.5. And finally, underneath everything is a handkerchief, which he made himself. You can also find him on Instagram for that at beardedhanks.co. Hanks with a Z. Also, that leather slip is from him as well. What I was talking about to coming back to is this little leather domino. You're probably gonna see more and more of these in people's carries. I'm just throwing this out there. They're new. They're from this guy, Lucas Murphy, in the Discord server, and he's making them, and he does different pairings of, of micartas with wood and brass and all sorts of different materials, Timascus. They're really cool. They're just a little fidget thing, just a little domino. They're just cool little trinkets that you throw in your pocket and fiddle with. You're probably gonna see a lot of them. Just saying. Anyway, Adam says, looking for more titanium folders around the same size as my Oz. He also says, use these items daily at work as an electrician. Hard to get through a day without them, especially my flashlight, almost every day. I totally get that. People in the Discord server have been talking about how they use their flashlight more than their knife. I'm in that same camp. I use my flashlight all the time, and I use my knife a few times a day, unless I'm working on something. If I'm actually using my hands working and not sitting in this office, I, I tend to use my knife a lot more. But when I'm sitting here in my office and, and at home, I typically use my flashlight a whole lot more than my knife. Anyway, let's talk about this gear and approximate values of everything. I'm gonna try to get through these quickly. So, Okluma DC-1, that is a $500 flashlight. The, the knife next to it, I don't know the price of this exact configuration, but the starting price on the Oz Roosevelt is $500. 
Um, that great Eastern cutlery, the best I could do in finding a price is about 80 bucks MSRP. Um, those Worry Dominoes, I think they're around 50, $60, not exactly sure. Lynch Northwest, about a hundred bucks. And then I'm not sure about the Hank or the Leather Slip because he made them and I don't know his prices. But just based on what I could put together, this is about $1,200, $1,300 carry, probably on the upper end of there, uh, maybe even closer to $1,400 with some of the items that I don't have the pricing on. Pretty pretty pricey, especially to not have a watch, not be considering a phone or anything. $1,300, $1,400 is, is pretty steep. The next submission comes from Page or Rabbit Pickup over on Instagram and in the Discord server. And uh, this one was just a really nice little titanium carry that she put together. First up in the top left of the photo is the Coke Tools Corvid Friction Folder in Fat Carbon. Next to that is a Lynch Northwest All Access Pass 3.5. Not seen one of those submitted to the show yet, so that's one of the firsts here on the channel. She also has an Olight S1 Arbiton 2 in Winter. Those are highly sought after, as well as a Grimm's Mosaga pin. She also has an Oz Machine Company Roosevelt number 42. Next to that is the Titanium Stabby, which looks like a Sharpie. There's also a Tactical Keychain Tuck XL, a Giltec Raw plus titanium. And on top of that is a Volkswagen Challenge coin. There's also a Robert Lassard 91 millimeter Swiss Army knife in titanium with a brass cross inlay, an Oz Machine Company hex nut brass bead, a Mighty Hanks Mighty Mitty underneath the things in the center. And then underneath everything is a Plagy Kydex tray. So yeah, I, I, I tried to go through here and pick out some of the things that I know the pricing on, like the Oz Roosevelt we know is about $500. The, the Grinsmo Saga is about three. I believe that Corvid friction folder from Coke Tools is just under 300, like 275-ish, about 100 for the Lynch Northwest and that winter edition of the S1 Arbiton 2. Uh, I know the price of the Giltec Raw is about 100 bucks. And then the other things I just really had to guess, but the estimated overall value of this is about $1,900. So still getting a little further up there. Paige says, I do have an Okluma DC Zero Titanium on the way. I can't wait to see what the hype is all about. Uh, I never put on pants without a Tuck XL in the pocket. I use it to cut open all kinds of stuff at work or around the house. The Roosevelt is my favorite knife by far. And since it's number 42, I knew it was the answer to everything. My custom Swiss Army knife is pretty new, but I would not change it for the world. The Challenge Coin was something Volkswagen gave out a few years ago to top performers. I've been with Volkswagen Audi parts for over 15 years and I love what I do. Thanks for making the EDC community so nice to be a part of. Your Discord server has taught me so much and I have made so many new friends there. Thank you for all you do. Thank you, Paige, and thank you for being a, a regular in the Discord server and for this cool carry. And, uh, Stay bougie. Next up is a submission from Carmen or Rue in the Discord server, who is one of the mods I have. You can find her on Instagram at atlas.creation. That is her company where she makes handkerchiefs. But she also says, probably not as bougie as others, but this past year my carry has grown. I still like and rotate with cheaper EDC gear too. I like it all. In the top left of this photo, of course, they're her Red Wing boots, but there's a Raylite TI pineapple. Underneath that is an Olight I1R2 EOS in blue, as well as a Smoky Mountains Swiss Army Classic. There is a Grimsmo Norseman plain TI with starburst pattern. Uh, also a Lynch Northwest All Access Pass 1.5 with a fade anno. A Grimsmo Saga, a Chavez Chubb. Beaver Blade Works Custom Pioneer X. There's also a Zero Feud Little Nuke bead on that and acrylic. An Armstrong Metalworks Timascus Solar Blueprint Coin. Zelos Swordfish Titanium Meteorite Dial. And then finally, underneath everything is the Atlas Creation Blue Shark Hank. So I know some of the values of some of these we've talked about, I'm not gonna repeat them. We know the Norseman is about 900 to $950. Um, I know that watch is about 650. And the Chavez Chubb is just under 200, as well as that coin. Um, so if you add everything up, we come up to about $2,600. So we're getting a little further up there. But anyway, Rue says, I have a sweet flashlight on the way that will be part of this carry eventually, but I wanted to submit without it anyway. These items are my favorite go-tos that are almost always on me. I don't need anything, but the Discord always helps me find the stuff I want. Things I can't leave home without are the knife, flashlight, and the pen. I use these every day at work besides the necessary wallet and keys. Shameless plug for Hank making and selling. I love how you've tied everything here together with the orange. Rue has an obsession with orange. So there's always gonna be orange in the picture, but there's blue and silver as well. So orange, blue, silver, just all comes together so well. Um, but again, thank you for sharing Rue and thanks for being an awesome mod. The next mission comes from Zach Young. And I think of all the ones that have been selected here, this one is the one with the most margin for error for price, just because some of this stuff is just so hard to track down. But anyway, in the center of the photo is a Beg Knives Custom. That is the Astio with a mirror blade finish and hand satin scales. Best I could figure was anywhere between $2,000 and $2,500 for that knife. Um, it just depends on configuration and what materials are used, but that's where they start. 
is about 2000 and then they go up from there. There is a J. Good Barlow Custom Damascus Blue Camel Bone. That one about 300 plus, but it's Damascus. So it could be far more than that. It's hard to know. Uh, there's also a Matthew Martin makes titanium pin. That one 300 to 700, maybe more. Don't know. I'm at Gizmo Haiku. That's about 400 plus. And then there's a young Hank's handkerchief underneath everything probably about standard pricing for a handkerchief. So my estimate for this one was about $3,400. So definitely makes this one the most expensive, even if I get the prices wrong, because I'm, I'm being very conservative with all the price estimates because things can get so much more expensive that I, all I really can go off of is, is MSRP. Zach says, this is just some of the nicer, more show off stuff in my collection. I use the torch and pin daily in my work, but obviously not the knives, the right tool for the task and all that. The Hank is created by my partner over at Young Hanks on Instagram. I guess that it's perfect EDC when you want to flex that custom carry yeah this is definitely a hard flex i mean that knife is something that i personally i'm not a fan of beg knives his knives are a little more flashy than what i typically like to carry but i can appreciate the finishing on them i mean the, that mirror finish blade i don't like mirror finishes i wouldn't want one myself but they're there's no denying that the, the finish on them is beautiful and and they're highly sought after so yeah this is a, a very nice carry and very flashy very showy the next submission comes from none other than Sky. You guys know Sky. He's also a mod in the Discord server and you can find him over on Instagram at SkyMFG. Sky has a knack for the obscure, the, the stuff that's pretty hard to obtain. Not all of it is all the time, but he, you see his pictures on Instagram, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, first up in this photo in the bottom left is a McGizmo McGlux 3 PDS that I estimated is about 400-ish. And then on that is a Steel Flame Chaos Koi clip, which about 275 for a clip, $275 for a clip. Next to that is the Ridian Knives French Connection Slip Joint, about 300-ish. And then there's a Michael Raymond Knives Estrella for about $2,200. Actually, I know he paid $2,200 for that one. Uh, Grimsmo Knives Saga Prototype number 0006. $300 MSRP on the sagas. His is a prototype, so it's priceless. There's also a Lynch Northwest All Access Pass version 2 at about $100. And then Armstrong Metalworks Timasca Solar Blueprint coin for around $200. Uh, so that brings the total of this one to around $3,800. Sky says some of the joy in carrying expensive gear is using it, scuffing it up, and making it mine. I spent over a year hunting for the Australia and was looking forward to scratching up the beautiful satin finish on the blade with a smile emoji. Uh, yeah, some people really beat themselves up over scratches on knives, but they're tools, right? They're, tool, they're tools. And that's the thing. If you can't enjoy a very expensive tool, then don't get them. I mean, you can have safe queens all you want. Put it in your safe, store it away. Don't use it. That's fine. Uh, but I'm not ever really going to have safe queens. I use my knives. I enjoy scratches and patina and wear and, and things with stories, things that, you know, look like they've been used and I'll get a lot of questions and comments about my stuff looking new. The thing about it is, one, I don't have to use my knife all the time. I work mostly a desk job here making videos, and I have so many knives I rotate frequently, and they just don't get a ton of wear because I have, I don't know, 60, 80 knives. I don't know how many knives I have. So uh, yeah, I don't carry them back to back to back for months straight, so they don't get a ton of wear. They just get rotated in and out, and a lot of the knives, I'll carry it a couple times, switch to something else, end up selling it, and then buy a new one, and just you know, rinse, wash, wash, rinse, repeat. And uh, sometimes knives just never get wear in my possession. So anyway, thanks for sharing Sky. And uh, I'll take that Ridium when you're done with it. The next mission comes from Casey Bathan or Every Damn Carry over on Instagram. And uh, this one just caught my eye. One, because the Oris, I mean, I love Oris, so the Oris caught my eye, but also the flashlight. We'll get to that. First up in the middle of the photo is the Ray Laconico Jasmine. I think that's a semi-custom. I don't know for sure, so about $380. And then below that is the Yen's Anso Monte Carlo. Uh, those are about $800 if that is the custom. There's also an Okluma DC0 in Zirconium in the center of the photo. That's what I was talking about. Those with that finish went for $1,750. Yeah, nearly $2,000 flashlight. The Aorus Pro Pilot Air Racing Edition 5, which is above that, 
$2,000 MSRP, and then bottom left of the photo, Nottingham Tactical, Brian Fellholter, Ty Clicker. It's about $200. Lynch Northwest All Access Pass, we know that by now, 100 bucks. Uh, underneath that is a Philly Hank Manila Hank, but there's also an Astrid Leather Minimalist Wallet. Couldn't find a price on that, but the Shire Post Mint Full Moon Coin is about $25. And of course, a bottle of Bullet Bourbon. Uh, so if you add all of these things up, I mean, the flashlight and the watch alone are almost $4,000. So uh, you add all of this up, you get about $5,200 worth of stuff MSRP here. If I've guessed correctly on the knives being customs or semi-custom on the, the Ray Laconic Hope. Anyway, KC says, trim down my folding knives to just seven with two more on the way. Would like to focus on high-end productions, mid-techs and customs. Pretty safe bet that those are, are one of those. <laughs> the Laconico Jasmine and Anto Monte Carlo are two of my favorite EDC knives. I use them regularly from opening boxes and packages to prepping food. The Okluma DC Zero is the first one that they made in Zirconium. I won it from Facebook contest by Jeff of Okluma and is my go-to torch. Whoa, you won that. Okay, you won a nearly $2,000 flashlight. So we're going to knock $2,000 off the price of this carry. <laughs> the Tie Clicker pin is a Blade Show exclusive that I bought from a friend. The Lynch Northwest is 90% used to open beer bottles and 10% to scrape or pry. The watch is a limited edition Oris that I bought as a gift for myself a few years ago. The Hank and the wallet are from two local brands here in the Philippines. And I'm more of a single malt scotch whiskey guy, but Bullet is my favorite non-single malt scotch whiskey. Uh, and then he also says, if anyone wants to sell their Oz Roosevelt to me, that would be great. Capital L-O-L. -L. Yeah, same, but I get dibs. I'm first in front of Casey. I want an Oz Roosevelt as well. So remember that, remember that. Uh, I'm first. Uh, anyway, thank you for uh, sharing this. It's is pretty badass. I, I knew that those uh, Oklumas were gonna be kind of spendy, the Zerk Oklumas. And uh, I did not expect them to be 1600 plus, but that's what they are. The matte finish ones are, are closer to 1600 and then the, the polished finish Zerk is like 1750. So yeah, those are, those are spendy flashlights. Next up, we have a submission from Scott Gabrielli and I just wanted to throw in some variety and I chose this one mainly for that Meads slip joint. That is a beautiful knife and I would love to have a Meads at some point, but Let's talk about what's in this photo. In the center of the photo is a three inch Gareth Bull Chamoiri. Table price on those, I think last I checked was about $700. I, I don't know if that's changed. And uh, secondary, I've seen them go for over 2000. I don't follow secondary prices, so it's really hard to judge, but that's that's where I have that one at. I just put table price. Uh, there's also a Meads, a native slip joint that is about 850 from what I could tell. There's also a Brassworks Zero Feud three inch scalloped BW Pry. Those are about 80 bucks, I believe. Armstrong Metalworks bead. This one was a wide range. I put $100. I've seen some for 30, some for 100. I don't know. Um, Prometheus Beta QRV2 and Titanium. I think those are around 150 bucks. Atlas Creation Handkerchief, 20 or less. And then Omega Aquaterra. MSRP, if you buy that directly from Omega, is about $5,700. You can find them online new for around 4,000. I went with MSRP because I'm just trying to say as consistent as I can. So total value, approximate value of this carry would be 7,600 bucks, give or take. That's, that's stout. Scott says, I am in an EDC photography rut and feel like I have been taking very similar photos over and over. I would love some creative advice. And he also says, none of these items are constant in my pocket as I have way too much gear to choose from. This represents this week's theme the best though. As far as a photography rut, one of the best things you can do is just get outside. Uh, one, change what you're taking pictures of. Get outside, change your scenery, change location, change everything and limit yourself or try something you haven't done. Like the EDC photography game has changed dramatically over even just the last six months. It's it's insane. Like when I came along, people were taking nice photos, uh, but in the last six months to a year, since a certain photographer here on YouTube has gotten into EDC and started his own brand, uh, things have changed. <laughs> uh, we've seen the quality of the photos just skyrocket and, and it just, you know, it changed the whole community, I think. Brought a lot of new people in, which is good, but it, it's different than it used to be. And the photography in the EDC community is just unreal sometimes. Um, there are people just taking amazing photos 
try to mimic that. I'm not saying go copy people, but just try to replicate what somebody has done to learn a new skill. That's something I do from time to time. I never really post those. I just spend time taking those photos and prepping and learning new things. And that's what I do is I'll either change scenery, get out, do something different, take a picture of something I've never taken a picture of before, and then try to mimic a skill that somebody else has done. That's that's how I get out of these ruts. But I've been in, in a creative rut for like six months now. And a lot of that has to do with COVID and not getting out and doing new things and being here all the time. Hope that helps. Probably won't, but I hope it does. Okay, we're going to go to the last submission. This one comes from Connor Winning or Konzi EDC, who was in the last EDC weekly as well. And this one I had to choose because it was just too good to pass up. So first up in the left of the photo, once again, is the Grimsmo Saga, about $300. Hanko Machine Works Trident, I know that he paid $1,300 for that with the clip on it, the Steel Flame Bronze Dragon Clip. Those clips are two, $300. So uh, the, the combo there is about $1,300. The watch, MSRP is about $2,200, but if you buy them online, you can get them for about $1,400, $1,500. Uh, but that is a Hamilton Intramatic. The Prince Customs Corona Cat, which looks like a knife, but it is not. It is a front flipper door hook bottle opener. Um, those are about $150 for the base, but I know that he paid $500 for that because of all the upgrades he has on it, which is a white Timascus bolster surrounding Zerk ring inlay, Zerk backspacer, and a white Timascus clip. I don't know how to pronounce the names on the, the knives, but Remy Laval, uh, Ultra Fort Royal Ebony. That was about $1,700. There's a David Lespec Custom Chica Burlwood. That was about $2,000. And then finally, the wallet is Open Sea Leather Gun Deck Quick Draw. And just a quick note, um, there have been a million different Das of Phantom Air wallets on the channel. Das of Phantom Air is no longer Das of Phantom Air. He rebranded to Open Sea Leather, uh, which is a pretty logical change. Das Offenemer means the open sea in German. So open sea leather is the new name. Uh, so it's gonna be very difficult not to say Das Offenemer, but open sea leather, it's easier to say, makes a lot of sense to make the change, easier for people to find. Das Offenemer is now open sea leather. Anyway, this Corona Cat, so I, I wasn't sure how to guess the price. A lot of these Timascus and Zirconium upgrades are, are pretty expensive. Like I opted for uh, Zirconium pivot collars and a titanium back spacer and clip on my Berg Blades Pup. And that upgrade was like 170 some dollars for just those little few pieces of Zerk and Timascus. So those things can be wildly expensive. I estimated that this Corona Cat would have been about 350 just based on the upgrades. Uh, it was actually about $500. So once you add all of this up, this carry comes out to about $8,100, give or take. But he's also in Australia, so there's conversion, there's shipping. Uh, this was easily the most expensive of all of these in this video. Pretty nice carry. And those front flippers are so, so nice. Really, really nice. I love both of them. Connor says, my gear is a culmination of years of collecting and a ton of patience and searching. It's definitely not perfect, but it's getting there. Thanks for everything, Taylor. Keep up the awesome. Thank you, Connor, for submitting and sharing this awesome gear and that totally bizarre $500 bottle opener door hook thing. And thank you all for sharing. Um, if you guys enjoyed this bougie carry, let me know in the comments down below and we'll do another one. But next week, we're actually gonna do a budget carry. So we're going full reverse 180 and we're gonna do a budget EDC weekly next Friday. So go to bestmedc.com forward slash submit or edcw.co and submit your EDC for the budget EDC weekly. I've not done a budget one in a very, very long time. So this should be a lot of fun. And until next time, carry on.